Hello, everyone, and welcome to NASCAR Heat 3. I'm in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina at 704 Games. A big thanks to them for allowing me to check out the game early and to uh, make some content for you guys. Uh, we are going to do a uh, first look. I'm going to start off with the Xbox One controller so I can show you the new 360 camera and things like that. And then we're going to jump over onto the G27 and we'll uh, we'll do some racing the way that uh, that, that I can do it because I'm absolutely terrible at a uh, controller. Uh, with that said, this is an early build of the game. Uh, so nothing in here is final. They do take the feedback that we give them when we come down here. Uh, and they also do take the feedback of people from uh, social media platforms such as Twitter, Reddit, etc. So there's some changes that could always uh, happen. So keep that in mind when we are on this build. So here we are at the main screen. We have Quick Race. Split screen, championship, challenges, career, multi, player, newsfeed, my driver, store, and options. Uh, a little bit different splash screen here. I like the uh, cutout, kind of like the NASCAR logo there. That's really cool. I have the music turned off for obvious reasons of copyright, so we won't be listening to the music. But there's a, a big soundtrack that was released. Um, you can actually look that up and, and find out who's all on it. Um, let's start off with uh, a quick race here and we'll be greeted here in the series selection screen that we've seen before. Uh, we have the extreme dirt tour right there presented by motorsport.com, not a sanctioned NASCAR series. So what that means is this is a fantasy track series or not track series, but a fantasy series. However, there are a few tracks in the series. We're going to go into it actually. Uh, and you'll see that there are various drivers here um, that are not uh, actual drivers that you, you would know, uh, but they use um they use uh, local people from their uh, company and their kids and stuff uh, to fill out a roster for this series. Regardless, I'm going to go with the 24 here, Mr. Nick Johnson. And uh, we are going to check out Las Vegas Motor Speedway, the dirt track. Uh, so we have Las Vegas, Richmond, Taggart, Texas, Bristol, Charlotte, Drebin, Eldora, Jefferson. Las Vegas. So the fantasy tracks are going to be, um, I believe Richmond is, a, is one of the fantasy ones because they just, yeah, they put the uh, dirt on the actual track. Uh, Taggart is a fantasy track. Texas is a real one. Bristol, uh, believe it or not, a long time ago, they did, uh, I guess within the last 10 years, well, they used to uh, put dirt on the Bristol Motor Speedway. It's technically a fantasy today, but uh, they used to do it and it's a lot of fun. Charlotte has their own dirt track. Drebin is a fantasy track. Eldora. Jefferson is a fantasy track because it is a dirt road course. Yes, you heard me right. It's a dirt road course. So we're going to be checking that out and uh, having some fun on that. And back to Las Vegas. Let's start off with Las Vegas. Except that. All right. We're at the dirt track in Las Vegas. Here we are greeted with an opening screen. You can see we've got some 3D people walking along the catch fence. Uh, rooting as cars go whizzing by. Uh, here we are just hanging out next to our car. And uh, let's go ahead and pop in. You'll see the, the dirt effects right here behind the cars as they go around the track. Uh, greatly improved uh, particle effects I've noticed in NASCAR Heat 3 compared to number two, uh, especially with the smoke uh, when it comes to um, doing any asphalt racing. Uh, so let's hit continue here and check out the main screen here. Here's our session screens we can change. We can hit Y to go to the next session. We're in a practice mode right now. Uh, but right now, as you can see right there, it says setup six balance down there. If I hit X here, uh, it's going to pop up right here. Recommended setup. Uh, you can jump from stable all the way to loose. Now, when I'm racing with a G27, I'm going to have it on loose, and I'm going to get crazy with it. Uh, with a controller, you swing steering so much quicker that I'm just going to kind of stick about right here. I, I've done this before. It's a little tight, so I'm going to go right here with this one. Uh, we can select it. Uh, once we have that selected, we can jump to the next session. It will remember your setup. You don't have to redo it again, which is really nice. But keep in mind, if you got too loose and you want to go back uh, a tick, you should probably do that before you go out there and uh, get on the racetrack. At the top, we have a ticker that goes across. It's uh, for today's lineup. And after we do qualifying, you'll see where people qualified. So that's uh, another new feature that was added. 
Um, would love to see something like that pop up when you're actually racing as an option so you could see where different drivers are during a race. I think that'd be a neat option. Uh, I did bring that up and suggest that to them. And I know a lot of other people have uh, suggested that as well. Let's go ahead and jump out into practice mode and, and just check out the cars. Here we are. You're going to notice immediately when I fire this thing up. There we go. We have new sounds uh, for the dirt car. I'm going to go ahead and put this thing into gear. And we're going to get going. A dirt car only has two gears. So first, and then we're already in second. And we're on our way. So the first thing I could tell you is right out of the gate here. You're going to notice I'm feathering the throttle and using the brakes. Is that the dirt physics have been completely revamped. Oop, somebody got in an accident here or lost control. <laughs> the dirt physics have been completely redone. Uh, it's, it feels nothing like the Eldora trucks from NASCAR Heat 2 in any way, shape, or form. The cars uh, require you to use a little bit, bit of braking, use your throttle input as you need to get around. Um, it's... Uh, it, it, it's got a little bit of a learning curve. I'm pretty bad with the controller, obviously, but you're seeing the car getting getting sideways, and you can hear the different uh, throttle inputs you have to do to get around. You can't just mash the gas and go around. It depends on the track, but... So, this is the default chase cam. Uh, was really hoping to see it popped out a little further. Um, I know a lot of people that like the chase cam like the camera to be out further than the default one and I have provided that feedback I think it would be nice to to have it that way we go into the next camera view we'll have our interior here which is really cool the uh, dirt late model is an interesting looking car uh, I pushed so much to that the corner but you see how much speed I lost when I did it that way compared to if I would have just taken the corner how I should have okay there's a car there that was on me and he just lost control <laughs> you can see the uh, they, that left front gets really light in the corners. Um, and actually, during races and practice here, you'll see the other cars around us. Uh, they will lift up on that left front wheel. So, as you can see, physics have been completely uh, changed when it comes to dirt. Um, so, that's a really, really, really cool thing. Because dirt track racing is a lot of fun. Once you kind of get it down and... When you get better at it, it becomes a lot more fun. These cars don't have any problems getting sideways, as you can see. Another thing you're noticing is we're in practice mode, so we have these chevrons on the ground that uh, shows you the racing line, but it updates in real time. So right now it's showing red, green, it's saying, hey, you can go faster, red, you're going too fast, and so on and so forth, but uh, it only pops up during your practice sessions, so you can get a feel for a track. Now, on an oval, I think it more or less comes down to just getting your rhythm down and, and practicing. Uh, but on a road course, that's really helpful to know the braking zones, especially if you're not used to that track, that's for sure. So we're getting sideways, getting crazy, having a good time on the dirt. Just these dirt cars are a ton of fun. The spotter, you just heard there, that's Joey Meyer this year. That's uh, Brad Kozlowski's spotter. He will be your default spotter. Keep it up. That was your best lap ever. Yeah, that was my best lap ever. And so I'm getting a little bit better as time goes on. Okay, so that's good enough there for our first practice session. Let's go ahead and hop out. Let's jump to the next session. We're going to jump into qualify. Let's qualify for the race. And then uh, we'll do a little bit of... Uh... Oops, forgot I was in manual transmission. We'll do some racing around the other so you can see what that's like. It can be quite intense. A lot of fun. I'm trying to do some uh, third uh, third person stuff for you guys. I know a lot of people race this way. I, d I just don't. I'm not the best at it. I'm not getting this thing sideways enough. I'm losing so much speed. If you just go into the corner like this and, and just crank her left and you don't you know, get the actual speed out of the car, you're going to go slow. Uh, we didn't do very good there, so we got 20th, uh, and that's going to be 16.123. That's out of 24 cars. I believe it's 24 for dirt, 32 for trucks, and then 40 for 
the uh, Monster Energy series. Let's go ahead and uh, change the setup a little bit. I think we need to go a little bit looser. I'm going to select that, and then let's start the race. All right, here we are greeted with the new intro uh, to each race. Now we have some practice notes from Evan Brown. We know he was going fast in practice. Keep an eye out for him. Uh, Todd had to go to the back. So that is uh, a new feature. It does happen pretty quickly, um, unless there's a lot of stories to, to follow. But in career mode, it's really cool. Let's go green. Car got sideways immediately. But, man, we got a hell of a run on Britain here to the inside of the 43. Oh, they got really stacked up on the outside lane there. We, Oh, sorry about that, 23. Oh, my God. Okay. Try not to run into people here. Oh, that's doing so well. So you do have the 360 camera. You can look around you at any time. You can look behind you when you want to. I don't tend to use it too much because I don't use the outside view when I race. But I know a lot of people will be excited and happy to have that. Let's get to the inside of him. Oh, nice. That was a good run we had on him. Yeah, see, I'm just digging the tires too much there. I was not, and I lost a lot of speed doing it. You want to get this thing to where it you can oversteer a little bit. Get a free in the middle. Might have needed a looser car, honestly. A little bit better that time, but we're still uh, not doing the best. P13 for a quick uh, look at dirt racing. Not the best, but our speed rating jumped up to a 98. Now we can check out the replay. Let's open the replay mode. This is a new thing. We now have highlights. Uh, you can do a medium replay. You can change the replay length with the Y key. So it's a medium replay right now. You could jump to a long replay. You can do a full replay, which is the full race uh, like you uh, would normally see. Keep in mind this uh, little tag here above me that says Jeff 19th. That will not be in the final version of the game. Uh, I was uh, noted about that because I, I asked about it. I was like, is there any way to turn that off? And they're like, that's not supposed to be there. So that will be removed. Um, so you won't have to worry about that hovering over your head the entire time. But you can just see how uh, how crazy and intense the uh, racing can be in the Dirt Track series here. Uh, but if we changed it to a short replay, we'd just get the highlights, actually. And you can pre you can go to previous and next clips here. So we get in the next clip, and it'll say here, hey, I made a pass for 15th place. You now the next one, uh, 14th place. If you get in a wreck or if there's a wreck that happens, uh, it'll highlight that, which is really cool. I like that um, because uh, there's no caution replays that I know of so far. Um, and I oh, man, somebody got on the wall back there. So having the highlights at the end is kind of nice. So you, at least you knew what happened out there on the track. All right, let's go to the Monster Energy Series, and we're going to uh, select a car over here. Well, I'll be Kurt Busch. Uh, I can change paint jobs just like I could in the previous title. Uh, and let's go to, I want to show you the ISM Raceway, which is Phoenix. Uh, it has been updated, and as you know, the start-finish line is no longer in the same spot. So I do want to show you that that has been changed, and uh, it's it it changes the track. Believe it or not, y you wouldn't you wouldn't think something like that would make such a big difference, but it really does. So we're gonna do this, and I'll show you a little bit about that. Uh, we'll hit uh, practice on here. Let's go ahead and change the setup. I want a looser vehicle, so let's go ahead and do that and let's go out there and practice here fire it up all right put into gear remember we have four gears in this car oh hello i didn't know you were coming out now i do Clear the pit. Hammer down. it's got that pit limiter let's get up to speed here and as you can see that thing changes based on how you're driving the track Ooh, that was a little too loose coming off the corner there. Just a little too loose. Let's get into the brakes here. And this is the new start finish line right there, right before the dog leg. Isn't that interesting? Into the brakes here. A little loose under braking. Brake bias would be really nice to change there. Keep that in mind. Oh. 
Got really loose there for a second. So basically, uh, I know a lot of people have been wondering about what it's like to get into other AI cars and whatnot. Um, and the crash damage model has been increased as well. I'll go ahead and lose control here and show you. There we go. We got right into the wall and we are pretty much done. We can use our 360 camera to look around at any time, which is actually really nice to have. Um, it'll be placed on the racetrack in three seconds. All right. Well, we're going to try to, uh, okay. We were going to try to fix it, but we couldn't. I think the car is pretty much done. I can hit left bumper to open up my back, uh, my rear view mirror there, but you can always look back when you want to just by, you know, holding back on the right stick. And the right stick is how you look around, by the way, if you're wondering. So we damaged our car, you know. We can go ahead and restart if we wanted to. Let's just go back to the pits. And uh, we will jump right into the next session. So as you can see, having a loose race car, really, um, that that transition is there based off of these preset setups. So I'm going to go to a balanced car because it seems like we're going to need that for this uh, track. Let's go out there and qualify and just see what we do. Time to go here. I'm not expecting Time anything great. Like I said, I'm terrible with a controller. I apologize for the terrible driving with it. But stay tuned for the next video because I will be on the G27 and we'll we'll make some things happen. Let's try to concentrate a little bit here. I see the car is not near as loose as it was before, so that's a good thing. You got one left. Concentrate. Give us all you got. So as far as the sounds go, the the bottom spectrum of the sounds at lower RPMs, they they don't sound as good as the top ones, and the reason for that is because they've they've tried or they attempted about four different recording sessions. And a lot of the dynos that they went to go record at, they don't have a lot of low end bass uh, pipe sound like All they right. got with the actual dirt car. Track. So the reason why the engine will sound very believable to a, a stock car uh, by today's standards at higher RPM is because it really, really captured that that peeing sound. However, at the lower spectrums, it kind of has that little ear kind of thing happening still. So. The sounds is something that they are working on uh, constantly, and uh, they want uh, you know our feedback and and I, they want to make them better. So uh, that's the only thing that I can really think is that the sounds need a little bit of tweaking um, on this side of the uh, of the spectrum with these these uh, these stock cars rather than the dirt car. The dirt car, in my opinion, sounds great. Okay, let's uh, let's see how terrible we are. Out there. In a classic outside view right, race here. Down, man. Down. With everybody else. Inside. Inside, inside. The cars don't seem, they're not near as twitchy as uh, NASCAR Heat uh, 2 could be inside, on a inside. controller. I, I had a real issue with that. Ooh, hello. Got in there really late. Uh, I had a real issue with that. Was it, I just felt like I was twitching the car around. Uh, this is, believe it or not, you know, based on how you have the car set up. Let me slow way down for that corner. Don't want to get freight trained, but I'll show you what it's like to race the AI. Uh, you can you can lean on them quite a bit. What I mean is you can uh, you can really get into them, but if you really 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 hit them, they will lose control and, and they'll wreck. There's really nothing you can do about that, like as you can see right there. But a lot of those guys try to gather it up the best they can. That one just lost control. But you can lean on them uh, if you um, if you really want to. And it won't be such a catastrophic thing like that, you know, just happening right there. Okay, let's go ahead and just restart the race. And uh, I'll show you some more about that. Because I know you want to see the crash damage. The crash effects. Missed my shift completely on that. But it has a very fluid feel to it. It really does. Ooh, hard in the brakes there. Sorry, McDowell. Did not, not mean to do that, so please don't dr judge my uh, driving off of this video. I wanted to do the uh, the controller for all of you out there that uh, will play it on controller. Boy, the car is just tight. I think I tightened it up too much. 
So as you can see, like when we get on the straightaway here, like it's not near as twitchy with the, uh, the controller. All right. Let's go to the hood camera here. And I'll show you what I'm talking about by leaning on people. So like Austin Dillon, or sorry, Ty Dillon here on the inside of us is destroying us but like this guy here i can get into the side of him a couple times to get into the 23 there i almost lost control there you don't ping pong really anymore which is really nice i know a lot of people didn't like the ping ponging effect that would be you get into the side of another car as you can see right there we just got into him it didn't shoot us up into the wall or anything we just uh just kind of hit him there and oh man i just totally did a dive bomb on the 51 of roads but here we go let's uh try to get to his bumper as you can see right there it's gonna be hard for him to catch it he lost control of it completely it depends on the speed you hit him because if uh it was a different situation there he would have uh, been able to gather it up and continue on so uh we can immediately let you know that you won't have to worry about that you can still spin cars out the ai will uh their, their wreck avoidance is much better though. If I hit the brakes and I stop, he's gonna try. He's, he went around me. He didn't just bash right into me. And what I mean by that is, if we go ahead and restart the race, all right, I'm gonna show you what it's like. Uh, if you get into a car in front of you, you get a bunch of cars loose. You see right there, they do gather it back up. It just depends on the situation. Um, you can lean on like we're, we're leaning, leaning on Almendinger there a little bit. You can get behind him, and yeah, he just lost it completely. There they go around. There goes. Austin Dillon, here's, as you can see, did you see the three there on the right? They really avoided that wreck. They really did. They went around it uh, the best they could. Um, they don't, uh, they don't seem to have that issue of not knowing where you are on the track at certain times, which is really nice. All right, let's jump into a Xfinity car here. Uh, and we're going to go to Michigan. I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, Y here to open the quick race settings menu like we've had in the past. Uh, and here are your options for AI difficulty. One thing that they did in NASCAR Heat 3 was really up the difficulty in the AI. A lot of people said that at higher ends, they were just too easy. Um, so they made adjustments there. Uh, so you can change it from auto easy, auto, auto hard to custom, custom. You can crank it up to 105. And they're going to be pretty difficult to uh, to beat, that's for sure. Uh, race length is going to be just here at 4% like we've been doing. But you can jump it up to 7. Now we'll have flags. We turn on all flags. You can do uh, relax or strict. We'll do strict. Tire wear, just keep it on. Uh, we'll do three uh, two times. That's fine. Qualify settings and quick qualify. You can do the, the changes like we've had uh, in the past. Damage is on full. Stability help is off. If you want that um, extra stability, you're having a hard time getting around the track. You probably want to turn that on. Uh, no, I'm, I'm going to change the transmission to automatic uh, just for now. So you can see what that is like since we've been using uh, manual the whole time. Let's hit accept there. Uh, yes, I want to save those changes. And let's go to Michigan. So one big thing uh, that has been changed as well is AI pitch strategy. Uh, in the past, there's been a lot of issues of AI making dumb decisions of hey, I'm going to pit on the last lap of the race. No longer will they do that. In fact, uh, some of them will gamble at the last second to go, hey, I want to take two tires and try this method. So they really changed the AI logic when it comes to pitting. Um, and I think you'll see that later on uh, in a video of a longer race. So here we are at Michigan. Let's go ahead and continue there. Um, and I'm going to change the setup to balanced. I already know I want the car to be pretty balanced in the middle. It's going to be a fast track. Um, and let's just jump into... Uh, qualify. If you do decent in qualify, and I mean decent, uh, you're not gonna have that issue which we had in in uh, Heat Two, where you would put down a pretty blistering lap that you think you were happy with, and then you come back to find out you qualified dead last, even at lower difficulties. No longer is that the the case. Uh, Qualifying's a lot uh, more forgiving than it has been before. So that's good to hear. You see the skyboxes have been changed in the game, so they're a lot more uh, realistic. You don't want to touch that apron. That would be bad. I'm going to try to get better at... Uh, this is this is where I really, really falter is controller at these 
fast tracks like this. Let's see a bit inside here. You can really hear the difference in the sound at the higher RPM like that. You know what I'm talking about. Right down in there. Let's see where we're going to end up. Remember, we have them cranked at 105, so don't expect the world from them, that's for sure. And look at that. We qualified 24th. You know, it's it seemed pretty pretty decent, and you can see the uh, times are uh, are very uh, are very good with what we just did. So let's go ahead and hit start race, and let's do the LTI printing 250 at Michigan International Speedway. Chad Finch um, engine change after qualifying. He goes to the back. Carl Long crashed during qualifying, so he's going to be driving a backup car. And Jeff Green had to replace the transmission, so he's starting in the back. So you get some more positions out of things like that that happened in the real world let's hit continue and let's go racing here at michigan and i'm trying to do my best here with the controller so i'm leaning on that 78 but i'm not ping-ponging off of him i was able to just kind of use him up a little bit there Inside, inside. Keep in mind, these guys are set to 105, so they're going to absolutely dust us. We're only going to be as good as the guys back here we qualified next to, and that should be the case. Got to lift a little bit there and get back to it. Kind of settle him a little bit there, kind of side draft him a little bit. The side drafting is there. Bump drafting is there. Um, I've noticed that side drafting is not near as significant as it has been uh, with NASCAR Heat 2. It doesn't feel like they're hitting the brakes a little bit. In Heat 2, it felt like the side drafting was uh, the AI dragging the brakes sometimes. The controller still rumbles when you're in the draft, and when you're feeling a draft or a side draft, you'll know. Ooh, I just put my nose right under Lupton there. That was... A <laughs> that was uh, on me. We're going after Ty Majeski here. Oh, hello. Got loose coming off the corner, but... Oh, and now we're in the grass. That's... Oh, and we're... We're done there. There Yellow you go. Flag. Flag. The caution comes out. Big wreck. Big junk. Uh, let's go ahead and pit. I'll show you the pit animations. Oh, actually, we won't get pit animations if we're under caution. I do not believe. Uh, I should just uh, advance and go to the green flag. But let's do a green flag stop just so you can see what those look like. We're going green. Be ready. Ready. Hammer down, man. After this down. lap, we're going to come to pit road. So I want to do some uh, bump draft and stuff here. What better way to do it than this? Stay up high here. Stay up high. Still there. Sorry, Morgan Shepard. I'm really not trying to wreck you here. I'm trying to get to the bottom lane. I'm going to show the uh, bump drafting here. If we can get up on the back end of somebody here, like him, and give him a bump. Still there. We'll get that energy like that. But he doesn't sail it right into the car in front of him, which is nice. Careful. Still there. All right, so we're going to come to pit road this time. I want to show you the pit animations since we pretty much threw the race away anyway. Black flag us. Yeah, they're going to black flag us, so there you go. Fuel two cans, full four tires. Yep, that'll do. You can make a tape wedge adjustment, just like we had last time. And we have plenty of time to do it. I know some people have uh, asked why you can't choose pit stalls. Well, it's because if we had the first pit stall, you'd have to have this open while you're racing to make those adjustments. And now we can see the new pit crew animation. I can't say on the Monster Energy series, I have noticed that the uh, the pit stops seem to be quicker than they have been. A lot more believable. And we're assessing a penalty there. So he'll release us after that. So pretty neat uh, to have 
new animations for the pit crew. It looks good. And we are out of there, just like that. You're clear of the road. Might as well check out the night racing here at Eldora, for the Dirt Derby. Pre-race inspection failure. Pill tech inspection. So Gregson's going to be in the back there. Going to be in the back. Let's just skip that and jump right into it. Get the inside of Purdy here. Now the trucks don't drive too sideways. It, it almost feels like the AI doesn't get, uh, they don't drive the track the way that you will end up driving it, which is throwing that tail out in the air. Oops, sorry. Sorry, Gregson, that was my fault. I really took you out. Almost got Ralfredo, too. No, they, they get out a little bit. They step out here and there, but it, for the most part, it, it they feel pretty hooked into the track. Yeah, an automatic transmission. You, you see right there, we jumped down just by uh, releasing the gas. We jumped down to third gear there. So ratios are not final. I think it needs a little bit of uh, work on this track. Working on lions here. But man, I tell you what, you really do have to wheel these things on dirt. Nose camera here. Turn on our rear view mirror. You see that reflection of the uh, mud on the ground. That looks really nice. Five more laps to go. Yeah, I would like to see the uh, Eldora truck. I would like to see the trucks get a little bit more sideways. You know, very similar to how the late model dirt series race. It doesn't seem like they, they want to go too sideways. For the most part. You see, I'm, I'm, I was just leaning there on, on Haley there, but I'm not going to... end up spinning her out from just barely touching her. And the lion's there. I'll work on Curry. Ooh. Got right into his left door. I'm going to lean on him again. I could have just completely spun myself out there. Oh, like that. Like that. There it goes. As you can see, look at them. They're all avoiding me. They're slowing down. They're stopping even to avoid hitting my truck. That is such a neat thing outside, outside. Inside. to see inside. because so many times I've been, I've been in an accident and then you just get clobbered after the fact. Clear high. Clear high. I am just, yeah, getting spun left and right. <laughs> This is getting spun left and right. Oh, I just got hit in the door by Grant Enfinger. And the caution comes out. Everybody else is still kind of hitting us as well. So they, they do try to avoid you the best they can. But it seems like sometimes when the caution comes out, that changes. And finally, let's go to my driver and do some customizing here. Let's go to a custom car. We can do a custom driver, profile icon, victory anthem. Pretty much what we had last year. Let's go to custom car. And I will show you guys that there is uh, sadly no paint booth in NASCAR Heat 3. I don't know if uh, they plan on adding one, but uh, as it seems to me right now, it looks pretty much what we had from NASCAR Heat 2. We have 99, 36, 28, and 8. We have some uh, paint schemes. So they did add some more paint schemes, um, I was told. I don't know if they still plan on adding more than that. Um, but uh, for the most part, it's pretty darn similar to what we had with NASCAR Heat 2. So keep that in mind. I know some people can be very uh, disappointed that there's no paint booth. Um, but uh, it, it, it pretty much is what it is. Uh, rear quarter, deck lid, rear TV. So pretty much what we had last year as far as that goes. And the same thing kind of goes for the, uh, the, the the custom driver. It seems like this... Um, 
it's pretty much what it was like last time. No, oh, sorry. We can change, yeah. Oh, change the preset. Yeah, we can change the preset all you want. You got a bunch of presets uh, ahead. You can change the shape, you know, fullness, things like this, complexion, the skin. So you can make your uh, your avatar. There's a lot of options here. Pretty much what we had from last year. Change shape, volume. Fill them out there in his race suit. Just like that. I'll hit back. I'm not. I'm going to discard my changes because we already had a person. Anywho, that is going to do it for the first look of NASCAR Heat 3. I'm very excited to bring this to the channel. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.